Please welcome Sonia Richards Ross. <laughs> Sonia, thank you for being here, girl. Thanks for having me. And congratulations, first of all, on the, uh, the NAACP nomination. Oh, thank you, Mama. Yes, congratulations. So appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, so Jamie Oliver, he just cooked for us. Why and, didn't and... you invite me for that segment? That's where. <laughs> Girl, if your stomach is this flat after you ate a gingerbread <laughs> pear cake, girl, I don't know if you want to do that. But it's funny, because we had a little makeup kitchen over yes. here, but I saw your kitchen. It is absolutely oh, gorgeous. You. Do, you, do you cook in this kitchen? Well, girl, look at this. Do you cook in that kitchen, girl? Well, you see, what had happened was... What had happened was... When my mom was, you know, my Jamaican mom was cooking in the kitchen, I was running. So I didn't really get that gift. That's okay. not really my ministry, so it usually stays looking like that. Oh, oh, it's just all nice it's and just clean pretty. the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know you were gonna come here and we were looking forward to seeing all of your medals yes. and you forgot them. Yes, so we ended up shooting a last minute scene. I had my whole day planned, Sherry. Yes. And they called me and they asked me to film a scene because you know, they don't want me to miss out on the scene. <laughs> and so I forgot my medals and my scarf. I couldn't even sleep last night. I didn't have my head scarf. You just, you just sleep like this? I was like. Yeah, this is, you get together do like that. But now, well then, it's okay, girl. Thank you. Um, but I do want to know, are they as heavy as they look? They are heavier than they look. Oh my goodness. And I think they should be, for all the work that we do for these medals. That's right, they, they should, should be. They should be way, worth their weight in gold, that's right? That's right, that's right. <laughs> now, um, you just said it, you're a Jamaican mom, so you're a Jamaican. You were born and raised in Jamaica. I was. And, uh, look, I, 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 I. <laughs> So when did you realize that you were such a fast runner? Really early on. So when I was seven at school in Jamaica, we had a fun day. And okay. so I went out and ran. I beat all the girls and all the boys. Hey, Look at that so, stomach. Yeah. Girl. So, and then by the age of nine, our grade school teacher asked us to write what we would be when we grew up. And I said I'd be an Olympic champion as early as nine. Look. Yes. Speak it. Speak it. Have your kids speak it. Yeah. So you, you're with your husband, NFL player Aaron Rouse. You guys have been married 20 years. Yes. Look at all that fineness. Ooh. Much <laughs> respect with your husband. Fine, girl. Thank you, thank you, child. So like, are you and Aaron, are y'all competitive? He's an NFL player, you an Olympiad. Are y'all competitive with each other? I always say that we're not competitive, but I mean, let one of us needs to get to the bathroom. We race into the bathroom. <laughs> We start playing golf or we're playing bowling. All of a sudden, it's a major competition. So I guess you can't turn it off. Like, we try to, like, not bring that home. Yes. Although I always say that I can't imagine my life with anybody else. Like, oh, girl. you know, he always understood what it took yes. for me to be the best in the world and just was always very supportive. And so I feel very blessed in many ways. Girl. <laughs> well, look here. Now, you 20 years y'all been together. You have a five-year-old son. I do. He's so gorgeous. Oh, now, does he have any athletic genes in his body. He thinks he's Sonic. Oh, right. that's so funny. And my sister, who has two boys, they're always playing together, and she's always like, this is insane. Like, he is so competitive, guys. Like, if he's racing on a bike, he's like, and he loses, oh, the bike is, something's wrong with the bike. Because he thinks, <laughs> he thinks he shouldn't lose anything, anything. So he is super duper competitive. He definitely got the he's competitive, got the competitive genes. Yes, yes. And, and now this one right here. Um, somebody told me that you have nine people living in your house right now, in addition to your husband and your son, including your parents. Yes. You have got to let me know how that works. <laughs> What's yes. going on? What, all of these people live in your house? Everybody, all of them. What ha what's going on here? How? <laughs> How's this working? So we all lived in Austin for a long time. And after the pandemic, I got an opportunity to do some stuff in Atlanta. So I begged my family to move. And I was like, let's just get one big house together and see if you guys like it. And it started off as a really good situation. <laughs> um, and especially because of how the house is. So on the top level is my sister with her husband, her two boys, myself, Ross, and our son live on my level. My mom and dad are on the bottom level. So we don't have to see each other if we don't want to. Right. But, but now when we do see each other after a year and a half, it's kind of like, damn, y'all still here. <laughs> but Sonia, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> Okay, you got a five-year-old son. You guys are married. Yeah. Like, how do you get your sexy time on? <laughs> like, what? Does it affect so, that? we figure out our sexy time.
time, and it really isn't the rest of the family. The issue is my five-year-old son who is still in my bed. He still sleeps in the bed. We got to get him out the bed so we can work out baby number did two. With a foot. We got to get him out the bed. And Sherry, the thing is, he keeps asking me for a sister, a little sister, and I'm like, well, if you keep blocking us, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> So, Sonia, we've got to talk Atlanta Housewives for a yes. minute. Um, you guys are filming season 15, is it? 15, season yep. 15, right now. Look at this. Everybody, Marlo, Virginia, every, everybody. <laughs> so, uh, what can we expect from this season? All right, well, you guys know I can't tell you guys too much. And okay. I'm actually happy that not a lot has leaked this season, so you guys will be in for a treat. But the very first time we filmed, the first time we all get together, it's my yes. husband's 40th birthday party, right? Okay. So I'm thinking the girls will be on their best behavior, right? <laughs> this, is, this is a mom. I, I was not. See, I'm only Girl. season two. That's why I didn't know. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, we, we just told you that. They, listen, all the issues they had in the off season, baby, they brought it. On your husband's 40th birthday, they brought it. I was running around like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Out the gate, fireworks, and the season is just gonna be epic. I can't wait for you guys to see it. All right.